everybody. Hi, it's Karen Head here. How are you? I'm here with Diane Archer today. Uh, she is a special guest and, <laughs> and we're going to be uh, speaking about uh, Pilates. We're going to be speaking about movement re-education and uh, so lots to share. I do suggest that you will comment, you will engage. Um, special announcement to be made about that. Please engage. Please ask questions. Uh, and uh, Wellness Wednesday is really all about bringing education to, to all of you, to bring value to you, to provide you with different options of the different modalities that are out there for wellness and for health. And, uh, you know, I've had different guests on and I'm always learning. I think we're always learning and uh, on our own learning curves. But, you know, we all deal with so many different things from pain to um, different physical dysfunction of the body. And we're looking for uh, answers. Hello, Tim. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So uh, we're going to begin, and uh, first of all, I would just like to say a very nice welcome to Diane Archer. Thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you for having me. You're welcome, yeah, and we can hear the audience, you know, <laughs> big claps, yeah, but it's, it's really nice to have you today and take the time out of your busy schedule, and you just finished doing a Pilates class, a re-education of music. I did, yeah. I yeah. teach a class on Wednesday mornings at 10.30, so came here after that. Wow, that's awesome. So great. Good stuff, yeah. And um, uh, what we're going to talk about today, so you under, all understand what, what we're going to be chatting about, is we're going to talk about Pilates, obviously. Uh, we're going to talk about yoga versus Pilates. That'll be very interesting. Hi, Gail. Thank you for watching. And by the way, any of you that are on, if you could please click on replay if you're watching this after the fact. And if you'd like to mention where you're from, I'd love to know where you're coming from. So thank you for that. Um, also, we really want to know what does Pilates help? Now, that's a big one because is this relevant to those in our audience? Or maybe it's not for you guys. Maybe this is for someone you know. Maybe it's a grandparent. Maybe it's a mother, a sister, a brother. So uh, please stick around. You're going to learn so much. And I'm, I'm going to cut this here short because I want to get right into Diane talking here. Uh, but we're going to cover a lot of things. So, Diane, how about we begin? Hi, Susan. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Hello, Andrew. Thanks for joining us. Um, so what is Pilates? Great question, <laughs> Um, Pilates, it's a mind-body exercise, um, mm -hmm. so you use your mind to control your body and you strengthen um, all of your muscles, especially in your core or torso, so it includes the shoulders, everything in between the shoulders and the hips. Um, okay, so now when I hear core, I'm thinking to myself it would be more abdomen area, but you're saying it goes from shoulder down to what about the, to the pubic bone per se and anatomically or everything except the arms and legs <laughs> everything but the arms and legs there you go wow <laughs> yeah. so my arms and legs are really strong and I think the rest of me isn't so I think Pilates actually I've done Pilates before you have I did right. I forgot to tell you that <laughs> okay. yeah I did a little bit Great. and um the very small movements focused movements I found personally that brought me to what I needed, you know, within, especially within my abdominal area, which yes. for me, so it's really yeah. awesome. Thanks, Shannon, for joining us. Welcome. Um, so Pilates, um, yoga versus Pilates. I mean, everyone's doing okay. yoga right now, so please explain. What's the yeah. difference? Uh, well, I should say that I have only been to a handful of yoga classes, mm -hmm. so I'm not an expert on yoga, mm -hmm. um, but I can tell you that um, they're based they're similar in some ways because they are both mind-body exercise systems. Okay. Um, and you use your own body weight as a resistance, right? So you mm -hmm. have to hold your arms and legs um, and support them. And that's similar to yoga. Okay. However, in yoga, I believe you have a lot of static poses. By that, I mean you stay still and you hold a pose for a long time. Yes. Okay? Yes. In Pilates, it's dynamic movements. So that means that we move and strengthen at the same time. So less staying still in one place. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. And uh, Diane is going to have me on the carpet in a little bit, on her <laughs> mat, I should say, to uh, do a few movements. So stick around for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you all hear us well? If you're having trouble hearing us, please let me know. Type in the word here. Otherwise, I think that you can hear us. I know you can all hear me. Yeah. Diane is a little I'm softer. I'm not used to this. <laughs> yeah, she's a little softer yeah. spoken, and um, I should have her closer to the mic. That's lovely, though. You have a wonderful demeanor. Aw, thank um, you. Yeah, and you know, in compassionate, please tell me the name of your, your... My business? Your business, yeah. yeah. Well, I call it Compassionate Body Pilates, mm -hmm. um, and I chose that name because I want to try and 
um, help people feel compassionate towards their body. So um, I really don't like this no pain, no gain type uh, feel t towards exercise. I, okay. feel, I feel like um, in order to exercise well and to sort of be able to make it sustainable, to be able to do it for a long time, um, you need to be able to treat your body um, with compassion and work with what you've got going on. So maybe you have an injury, you can adjust the exercises so that it doesn't hurt, um, mm -hmm. but you're helping to support the rest of your body around that injury. And then over time, you heal up and you s can you know in integrate that in again. So mm -hmm. it's about sort of uh, working with the body that you have and okay. being compassionate towards it. Okay, not fighting with it. Exactly, yeah. I fight with my mind when it comes to jogging. Is that kind of what you mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, maybe not. When you no, jog, you know. it's a good question, though. Mm -hmm. When you jog, are you in pain anywhere? Do you feel pain? Yeah, I feel in pain because I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> not the same thing. <laughs> or perspiring, shall we say. But yeah, but no. No, I don't really hurt. So, okay. yeah. Now, but, uh, so that's wonderful, you know. And I know you're a very compassionate person. Um, so I think that's a very appropriate name, a compassionate body Pilates now for what would Pilates help I think that's a really big question like what is it what do people come to you mainly for or, or? well I, I seem to um, have become a specialist in injury uh, rehab so um, people might injure themselves they go to physio for a while yeah um, they get some help strengthening around say like they hurt their knee so they do some physio around the knee mm -hmm. and then they come to me after that's done and they feel like well I need to do something to help me like move better so uh -huh. that I don't injure my knee again okay um, and so I would look at let's strengthen the whole body let's make it a little bit safer when you move let's teach you different ways to move your body that are a bit safer um, and then that's kind of um, what I would say I'm, I'm seeing a lot of okay okay days. all right yeah some more injury related yeah and it, and how about and then the strengthening component of course is uh, too right so oh, yeah. yeah well that that's part of um, you know getting your body in better shape for not injuring again it's being right, strong yeah, and, and stable as well so that you're less likely to fall uh, your joints are stronger less um, likely to <laughs> fall yeah. i need some pilates guys it happens to all of us oh i tell you <laughs> yeah. you know maybe if i was doing pilates I wouldn't have flipped over my bike because you know what though my center of balance was not there it just i just tipped so yeah. quickly like you know like a like a piece of grass in the wind <laughs> um so okay so um so let me see, what was I going to ask you then? Let me see, I know we have a question right here even. We have questions, guys. We have our papers here. So um, what's that all about? Okay, Maybe well, I just made some notes about, like, so people often, it's like they don't know why they maybe got injured. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have uh, some kind of chronic pain that keeps coming up in their body. Um, and often that's because there's an imbalance. So because of the way that, you know, a lot of us sit all the time or we don't move, um, you know, in a very sort of, aligned way mm -hmm. sometimes our muscles can get imbalanced so like one side will be stronger than the other like if you're right-handed and you use your right hand all the time often your shoulder has problems on the right side mm -hmm. or some people stand with their hip coming out to one side oh yeah know? oh yeah absolutely <laughs> so yeah. and it's so it's a lot of it's postural and it's okay. postural patterns that develop over a long time um, and so you get repetitive strain from that okay. and then you end up injuring a joint around that usually a joint especially knees take a lot of uh, of the strain okay um, okay yeah well between the weight and the way we walk and these type of things right yeah, yeah. for but, sure and even like i mean i'm a hiker so always hiking and whatnot you know i, I feel it in the knees sometimes I'm and sure i'm like do, mm, yeah. right and yeah. it's, it's hard to know like how far to push your body as well when you're in that in that situation mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. um because you know you want to work out and you want to do stuff right you want to stay active that's yeah. important um but if you like push through pain then it just gets worse and worse and so yeah um yeah. so yeah how can we help is mm -hmm. by strengthening specific muscles that you need to okay. strengthen in your body and looking at your whole body and your posture and helping to correct some of those things so that in the future it doesn't happen again <laughs> okay yeah yeah no that's wonderful so so preventative there's a preventative it's component preventative, for, sure, for sure right yeah. yeah yeah no that's awesome good good all right well then let's see here um question for you then is um what is a session like so i mean we're gonna go over there actually maybe you know what we'll leave that till after because <laughs> we're gonna show what one is like so please everyone please ask questions even ask questions in the replay please diane will be happy to answer for you um so uh joseph pilates i'd like to talk 
have you talk a little bit quick about him. I find that, sure. uh, uh, yeah, I've heard a bit of his story, but I'd like to hear more. All right. Yeah, he's a really, he's an interesting character for mm -hmm. sure. Um, he was born in 1883 mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and as a child, he was really sickly. So he had um, uh, rheumatic fever, uh -huh. rickets, um, asthma, breathing problems. And his father was, um, I think he was a, a gymnast, so he did a lot of physical activity. Mm -hmm. um, and his mother was really interested in nutrition and diet. And between his parents and himself, they managed to have him get fit and get over all of this stuff when mm -hmm. he was a child. By the time he was 14, he was really strong. There's pictures of him posing in a anatomy magazines. Oh, and stuff. <laughs> wow. Um, and um, and know, he's the founder of Pilates, right? That's is. why his name Joseph Pilates. They got Pilates. That's okay, right. yeah. Wow. Okay, yes. Um, and and so, when he, so when he was a little bit older, he would travel to England. Mm -hmm. Um, he was a boxer. Oh. Um, he was a circus performer. He trained a lot in martial arts, uh, self-defense training. Um, he actually tr was a trainer for Scotland Yard doing self-defense. Wow, <laughs> that's so awesome, yeah. really. Wow. Um, so so very he's a very physical, physical man. Very physical. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, um, and then in World War I, of course, yes. he got interned uh, in a camp uh, as a German living abroad in England. Wow. And that was sort of when we can kind of track that the Pilates came about because he was um, working with some of the people he was interned with to help to make them stronger and fitter and doing classes with them to keep them busy and occupied. Okay. So all of the prisoners he was with, they sort of um, developed, he developed this training with them and he even came across bedridden patients, uh, people that were really sick. There was an influenza epidemic going around mm. at the time and he created... Um, pulleys, a system of pulleys and, sh and cables around the bed <laughs> to make uh, exercises so that the arms and legs could be supported, and that's the basis of the former Pilates training. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, okay. Fascinating. Um, yeah. So, now you don't have pulleys at your place, I don't. do you? <laughs> okay. I just teach the mat work, which <laughs> yes. you develop at the same time, so yes. if you can get down on the mat and so on and work that way, that's what I, what I do, but okay. um, reformer is like a, a bed that you lie on with um, pulleys and um, things, straps for oh. your legs and stuff. So. Oh um, so wow! Yeah. Okay, and now and then for you, like uh, so. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and, and for now, um, you are here in Niagara. Uh, mm -hmm. You were in the UK. You were born in the UK. No, no. I was born in Canada. You were born in Canada. <laughs> Yeah, in the UK for a time. I lived in the UK for nine years. For nine years. Yeah. And what happened when you were in the UK? <laughs> well, I became a Pilates instructor. Okay, awesome, yes. Um, yes. And then I got pregnant about two months later. <laughs> oh, wow, see, so Pilates can help you get pregnant. I Did know. you guys know that? Yeah. There you go. Hey, well, who knows? Who knows? I mean, when the body is in a different alignment and health, but that would be pretty quick, though, two months. Okay, um, well, so. you know. Yeah. No, and I'm not, and I'm not claiming that Pilates helps. For there you is a whole it. story that goes along with that as well, of course. <laughs> so we won't go into that here. That would be another session, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so so then so then you had your baby, and uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then what you came back in like you had some training, you had different experiences with. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I stayed in the UK for 18 months after my son was born, mm -hmm. and I taught that whole time. I I went back to work six weeks after he was born, and. I taught right up until a week before he was born. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. I, I had seven weeks off. <laughs> really? So, yeah. Wow. Um, but it was like that um, you know, amazing thing that I could come back to and reconnect with my body yeah. afterwards. Okay. And, um, and it was great. It really did for me. Okay, okay. Um, and you don't sit there in meditative modes, do you? No. You're always doing the movement. Doing so the I'm movement, hearing, yeah. I'm hearing the words balance. I'm hearing the word movement. Um, I, I, almost, I hear the word integration. It's integrating mm -hmm. mind and body. It's that holistic Absolutely. approach, yes. right? To go yeah. and bring about wellness and healing to the body, a rehabilitation yes. to the body, right? And yeah. Whatnot. Yeah. So okay, okay. So yeah, is there anything else to add to that, or that's um, uh, yeah. with the? Uh, I think maybe I just want to say about Joseph Pilates. That yes. He didn't want it to be called Pilates. Okay. <laughs> he created a. He's system. a humble man. He created a system that he called Contrology, and the idea was that your mind can control your body. Ah. Okay? So okay. it's about it's a lot about being able to control your limbs and feel what's happening with your muscles and all of that. And then his followers were like, "We're going to call it Pilates." <laughs> so, 
<laughs> that's that's interesting. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. hey, you know, he, he, he tried. Humble man. He's like, don't call it Pilates. <laughs> You know, so yeah. uh, now, but I know there's, uh, I understand six principles to Pilates. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so what are those principles? Make sure I get them all right. I sure. My list. That's <laughs> fine, that's fine. Um, Want to make sure we get the right information <clears throat> to everyone. Um, it's flow, mm -hmm. centering, okay. control, breath, precision, and concentration. Now, the precision and the concentration, I remember when I did those mm -hmm. different sessions. Yes. That's huge. It is. It's not just go through some movements quick. Everything yes. is very controlled. Yes, for sure. So precision, you know, you've got to do it right, you know, mm -hmm. focus on making sure you move your body how you want it to be and in the right way. Um, and uh, But all of them work together to make a really good foundation. And I can teach almost anything with Pilates principles in mind, right? And I can move. And this is why famous athletes like to do Pilates because... Oh, who, who? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm putting you on the spot there. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only one I can think of right now is Tiger Woods. But <laughs> Tiger Woods. Hey, there you go. <laughs> There's wow. a ton of football players and stuff mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, all kinds of uh, athletes. Olympic athletes do it as well. Um, because it has a good grounding for everything that you do in your life, right? Okay. All the movements that you're going to make, um, it makes you move better and more efficiently and stronger from a stronger base. Awesome, body. awesome. Yeah. Well, I think it maybe even helps maybe getting old a little easier. Absolutely, yes, Right, sure. you know, it takes, yeah, that, that, yeah, knowing your body and how it, how it works and how to, how to have the best physiologically sound body, physical body. Okay, so that's great. Yeah, was there something else you wanted to share on that specifically, or is that pretty, that's pretty, um, I think, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? We I don't want to, we don't want to get too deep into until things, right? Until you actually start but doing it, it's hard to understand a lot of the principles until you feel it in your own body, right? Well, then it's I, like <laughs> I think I need to get on the yeah. mat in a minute then. Exciting. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that in a moment then. Um, and uh, uh, great thing to mention here, so if you're watching, please comment. Uh, uh, if you're local to the area here in Niagara, uh, Diane is offering a special gift, and this is really, really cool. Um, I had posted actually that she was going to offer this in her studio, but it's actually her coming. You're going to go to their home. To their home. Okay, yes. and it's about a seventy dollar value. Is that about what a session would cost? That's um, for a private session. For yeah. a private session. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you have classes you can take for a certain number of weeks per se? Do you offer those kind of packages? Yeah. Or? So, um, so I teach um, five classes a week, okay. small groups. I don't teach more than eight in any session. Okay. Um, and um, you sign up for whatever time slot works for you, and you do six weeks in a row in that time, and it costs ninety six dollars for that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I think my mom might want to join, so I'll have to make great. sure she's watching this. I don't see her on here right now, so that is great. And maybe me too. Okay. Um, so yeah. So she's offering that to you if you uh, if you uh, do you know Gail offhand? Um, I think we spoke on the phone once. Actually. Oh, yeah. okay. There you go. So maybe she's Hi, gonna be high. <laughs> okay. Um, so how many sessions until you start feeling better? You know, I get that when I was a massage therapist. Well, how long will it take till I feel better? And I think that big word is we spoke about this earlier. Is it's variable, mm -hmm. right? So it's hard yeah. to really say. Um, but there is a quote. Quote, from yes. Joseph Pilates, and I thought this was fascinating. Check this out, guys. So, how does it go? <laughs> okay. It's a 10 sessions. Oh, here in, it is. Oh, yeah. here. In okay. 10 sessions, you'll feel different. So, you're going to feel different in 10. In 20 sessions, you'll look different. Looking different, and okay. And in 30 sessions, you'll have a whole new body. So, that's what he said. Sign me up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Whole new body. Wow, I like this. But, but that doesn't mean physical, per se. I think we get too hung up on physical, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and I know that you're you're a proponent of a uh, um, uh, what's what would the expression be? Love your body, um, body positivity. Body positivity. That's it. Thank you, yep. Diane. Yeah, and so it's not all about how you look. In fact, I remember when I was as skinny as a stick, um, and you know I don't think I was that healthy because I could eat whatever I want, and I just would be a couch potato. But I was skinny. Yeah. And there could be someone who is um, uh, more voluptuous, more to love, as my husband says about me. And um, But, you know, but if I'm out there exercising and I'm eating well and I'm doing everything I can and it's my body and the shape of my body and who I am with my body, that's okay as long as I'm doing all the positive forward things in life to, to bring health and wellness, right? You so. just described the health at every size movement. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, is that the website for that? Uh, 
Uh, well, there's it's a movement online, um, and it's to think about the fact that you can be healthy at any size. There and, you go. Um, to stop sort of looking at someone who's overweight and saying, oh, you're not healthy, because you don't know. And if it's someone's so really skinny, oh, well, they're yeah. healthy. We don't know, right? Yeah, Absolutely. because it's genetics. It's a lot of things, right? So, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Good All right, you. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. And uh, we're going to get on that map there. I keep saying that, but we are. Um, but uh, what is your website offhand? Okay, it's compassionatebodypilates.com. Okay, that's easy. So yeah. compassionatebodypilates.com. Uh, and uh, it would be best for them to reach you there. Or like you're, you're actually now, you go in people's homes, but you're also at um, OWN. That's right. I teach uh, two classes at Optimal Wellness Niagara, okay. which is uh, 26 Hisquat Street mm -hmm. um, near Ontario and the PUW. And okay. then I also teach at the St. Catharines Physiotherapy Center oh. at Lake and Carlton. Okay. Wow. That's my Tuesday night. And then my Thursday night, I'm somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. So you keep busy. Right yeah, now, so there's I'm, a need. I'm a traveling world. around town and renting space where I can. Okay. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, I love that. Do you have that, that flexibility of being different places like that? Okay. Um, well, I think we should get over on the mat then. Absolutely. We, uh, let's let's take a look at your, have anything else we wanted to talk about just before we get over there? I don't think so. Okay. Hi, Dominica. Thanks for joining us. So I'm just going to unplug and I'm going to bring this over. Keep it on. There we are. So we're going to go over to the mat. How exciting. Ah. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to set things up here. And uh, how long do you think this will take, Diane? What would be the approximate time? Because, I mean, this isn't an actual Pilates session. No, this but this is just to, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what. Sure, five minutes sounds great. So everyone, take a, get comfortable, grab a coffee or a tea. I'm just going to place this here, and I hope it doesn't fall on us. I think we're good. I'm just going to have to move this away. Your, um, invisible distance one under your um, belt. <laughs> I, might be, I might be 
okay though. Is it like I, cause I can it's hold on to it? It's pretty secure though. Like oh, is it? That's not gonna get oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, I want you to start with your arms up over your chest. So you're straightening your arms up over your chest, just like that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, and then um, just as some awareness today, I want to do bring your arms down over your head towards the floor. So okay, so back. Bring them both back. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then feel what's happening in your back in that position. What's happening? Feels in your like back? my back is a bit lifted. It's not flat on its mat. Okay. Feel what happens when you bring your arms back over the hips. Oh, back. yeah. Now it's gone back. <laughs> That's right. Okay. And the other thing you can think about is your ribs as well. What happens to your ribs when they come back? Well, they definitely want to expand and open. Lift up a little bit towards yeah, the ceiling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can feel like them going like this. They expand. Right. Right. Yeah. Right, okay. yeah. So what's happening is the weight of your arms is pulling your back up off the ground and lifting the ribs. And oh. Then the whole the body works with it so okay and then when you bring them back it flattens it down so this cool. is this is one of those pilates principles we were talking about earlier called centering so if we have a strong stable base right your body isn't going to move around when you move your arms yeah. so once i'm stronger there i probably won't notice the lift as much is that what you're saying exactly yes so oh, and you can even do it right now oh okay <laughs> right all right so by using the breath okay, okay. so we're going to Start with the arms down over your head, okay? okay. And I want you to uh, practice breathing. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Good, good breath. And then on the breath out, slide and squeeze your ribs down to help expand your ribs out of alignment. Squeeze it down. There we go. Good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get up. Yeah. Okay. Let's try one more breath like that. Inhale, bring, bring them up. Yeah, okay, inhale, so. then you bring them up over the chest. And then exhale and bring them back down and squeeze the ribs down at the same time. Very good. I can feel that working. Wow, good. okay. Let's try one more. Inhale, bring it in. And then exhale and squeeze the ribs down and bring the arms back in. So can you feel that support there? Well, I feel it there and I feel it in my abdomen. Is that possible? That's definitely possible. <laughs> It means that it's all working. It's all engaging and working. <laughs> yeah, I didn't feel it at first. Yeah. I felt it the second time more so. It's all those little nuances. I see why you have only a class of eight because you're taking the time, I'm sure, to, to very with much. Each person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for you. Yeah, no, I like small numbers. I can really give everyone there the attention that they need. Yeah. Right? So, well, yeah. that's so awesome. That was really neat. Cool. Thank you. So just kind of, yeah. Do you want to do one more? Or? I have time for one more. One sure. More? Do you have time for one more? Yeah, okay. let's do one more. So All let's right. do something for the lower abs. Okay. So let's, um, if you find your hip bones. Yep. Okay. And awesome. then sort of find a, draw a line in between there. Yep. And sort of press gently into that area. We're going to try and activate those muscles. So They need activating. <laughs> like I've had three C-sections, I mean two C-sections and a surgery. Oh, wow. But I have scar tissue hip to hip. Wow. Let me be impressed. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this could be, this could be really good for you. Um, before we go, though, I want you to have your tailbone down on the floor. So other yep. way around. Other way oh, around. Oh, other way. Oh, there right. Okay, okay. See that? <laughs> yeah. She notices these things. I love it. Okay, so, yep. So, so my tailbone is we there. Can, we can lightly engage under the fingers by pulling the muscles away from the fingers towards the spine. Can okay. you feel that engage? I do. Good. Okay. So we're going to try and kind of keep that. It's like a light engage. We're not training, but no. we're just feeling it work. Yeah. Could be. Yep. And then we're going to have the heels down and the toes up. Can you can you stay in that okay. position? Perfect. So you're going to try and hold steady under the fingers while you bring one heel up over the head. Okay. So, so you're going to inhale down, and bring down. one. Yep. Inhale and bring one knee up over the hip. That's perfect. And then exhale and bring the heel back down. Good. And okay. then and then we're going to try the other side. Okay. Inhale, bring the knee up. Can you feel that shift? Yeah. Okay. And then exhale, bring it down. So. And it doesn't hurt everyone. It's just very gentle, but you feel the engagement of the muscles, my personal experience. Yes. Yeah. It shouldn't hurt. It, should it shouldn't never hurt. hurt. Yeah. It doesn't hurt, guys. No. If it no. hurts, then I want someone to tell me for sure, right. because it means that something's not right or we're not working in the right way. And, and we're having a body fight again this week. Like, exactly. Right? Yeah. So, exactly. okay. The connection's not there. It's a fight in it rather than a flow. Yes. And, 
Uh, you got the right. Yes. Yeah. You got it. Very, very well. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, so so that's um, okay. that's a simple um, example of how we would sort of stabilize the pelvis mm-hmm. while the legs are moving, and it gives the lines this yeah. Amazing. Okay. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See, there you go. That was great. Well, uh, thanks again for uh, showing that Thank and uh, for explaining so many things. Um, and uh, I hope you've all found some value from this and you feel, you know, like you understand a little bit more about Pilates. Uh, and uh, as Diane calls herself, a um, movement re-educator. That's and right. I think you just saw it right there in action. <laughs> okay. um, and uh, uh, do you also use, a, a, like, you can use big, like, the big ball thing? Oh, yes, I have some fun equipment. I brought oh, yes. pieces with me. Sure. Um, I have this little ball, which okay. is super fun. So if you can imagine doing that knee lift uh-huh. with this underneath. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. You would end up it's with squishy. Uh, lots of stabilizing stuff. That would really want to... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's more for maybe advanced. We work it in later after you've got a bit of strength in the area. Makes sense. Makes but sense. this is also good for like, you can lie on it under the shoulders and open the chest. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, now I've done that with a towel. But that's yes. part of my massage therapy that we teach yeah. kids to open up that rib cage. So there yeah. you go, guys. A little yeah. pointer Stuff there. Like that. But, uh, okay. really good. And I have my ring. And, um, and looks like uh, a steering wheel. It does. And then you can be soft with it with the arms, and you can put it around the legs or in between the legs, and it's got some resistance to it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, I have used the big balls in the past, but I don't have the bigger right now, so I can't be using those right now. Okay. But I have foam rollers, which are fun. Ah, yes, foam rollers. rollers. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I've, I've had some of those downstairs, I think, actually, yeah. yeah. So, um, But I use them up to support some of the clients. But anyhow. Uh, but that's great, and you also have the bands you can yeah, use, I yeah. see here, band, so, so, so the yeah, band, I think those these are These are really called. great if someone has, like, an injury, then they can support themselves more with them. Okay. You know, like if they have their legs in it, then they can just hold a bit of the weight while they're bringing their legs away from the body and stuff like that. Okay. Um, wow, yeah. this is great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very, very much for being our special guest at thank Wellness you for Wednesday having me. with Karen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and... Uh, Please contact Diane or contact me if you need her information. We'll put her website on here as well when we uh, get back to uh, looking at the replay. And uh, any questions, please ask. And you're going to have time with Diane, much like this right here, for an hour. Absolutely. And her at your home. What? That's yeah. very generous of you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. No problem. And uh, I just wanted to lastly say that uh, we are looking at having a reflexologist for next Wednesday. So I was going to go bi-weekly, but sometimes with the summer and the way schedules work, um, it might be every second week or every week. I like to try to keep things as consistent as I can. Um, but, uh, you know, there will always be some kind of a post happening, hopefully these kind of Facebook Lives. And, uh, again, thank you all for being with me today. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. <laughs>